It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Welcome back. Uh, th this is the uh, the year of the uh, so-called staycation, where nobody really gets to go anywhere. I thought it was the year of the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it the year of the cat? I, I, I can't believe you're the saying The year that. of the cat. I can't believe you said that. The year of the cat. Oh. I don't care what you say. This is, this song is badass. You do like it. Oh, I can't believe you said that. I got that. I've had that prepped all morning. Oh my God, when he's on it, I oh, love yeah. that. I love that song. Oh, I'll give it another listen. I gotta get my cat scan. Is it really a year of the cat? No, it's. Uh, um, wait a minute. Uh, no. Wait, is it a monkey? I'll find out. Rats? I'll find out. Last Anybody year, have a Chinese nope. restaurant place math? <laughs> last year, big, last year was the big. rat. But does it does it kick in already? I thought it didn't kick in. Oh, for, uh, Chinese New Year's in I'm a couple. Still writing rat on my right, checks. Yeah. You're still <laughs> writing rat in your checks. Yeah. I, okay. <laughs> I think you're okay. Although, I, um, I'm glad you're still writing checks. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Pat no. Godwin's checks say Voight on them. <laughs> the, the basketball people. Because <laughs> they're going to bounce. <laughs> you know the year of that. the ox starts February oh, 12, okay. 2021. Oh, I did have yes. one slow burn. I, yeah. Oh, ox. I was actually purchasing something at a store, and I swear to God, the lady in front of me wrote... A check. All right. Welcome oh. to 1975. Keeping it old school. Oh, and of course required. Man. You know, the manager had to put a semen stain on it, and by the time <laughs> I by the time I left, my raspberries were no longer ripe; they were molding. Other than that, I raspberry. <laughs> For somebody who's stuck back in the day, I'm surprised you're not. I'm surprised you don't have a coin purse. Yeah. And write checks. <laughs> Flip and, phone. And have but, a pocket I mean, watch. I know it's kind of a hack. It. It's kind of a hack chain. premise, but I had not seen anyone write a check in yeah, ages. It's been a while. So uh, 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 yeah. it was a little bit boring. Okay, sorry. <laughs> There's a couple days with the funds I, in there. I think if someone said, what'd you do in your vacation? Did you go skiing? No, I primarily janitorial duties. <laughs> in my house, uh, a lot of cleaning and painting. and All right. Oh, painting. Exotic light bulb changing. If I go back to Home Depot one more time, I become an employee. Nice. Oh. Do you have hmm. an orange apron of your own? Yeah. Got some, uh, <laughs> God, there's some interesting stuff in light bulb technology, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wait a Is minute. Are, are you, <laughs> are, have you or have you not been mistaken for an employee at several hardware stores? Oh, absolutely. Um, and over many years, many times. I spent quite a long time helping a lady get her Christmas lights. See, oh, she thought this is how they get <laughs> confused sweet, that you don't work there when you help lady. people. Yeah. Oh, so light bulb uh, technology. Uh, what's going on over there? Works? <laughs> I can gum those up. <laughs> Oh. Josh, did you see you, 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 well? you can get light bulbs now. Yes. That when your power goes off, the bulb stays on, and then you can remove it and put on a little clip and walk around like a flashlight. What kind of witchcraft is that? What? No kidding. Plus, there's a bulb out there now that knows when it's dark and pops on on its own. Oh. <laughs> This is the best. Why do I get the feeling that someone just looked at someone else and goes, and you were excited they were going to be back this morning? <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about light bulb technology. Oh, I get I get emails from light bulb places all the time. Oh, oh my places. gosh. Places. Light bulb no, places. Yeah, yeah, bulbs aplenty. Uh, bulbs, bulbs of Palooza. Bulbs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, bulbs I, remembered. I re <laughs> bulbs are us. As you know, my, the house I live in was built in 1932. Right. But when I redid it, I had them put... Uh, night lights built into the whole system. Mm -hmm. So there's night lights in all the hallways, all the bedrooms, built Check. into the wall. Mm. Literally yawning. And, 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 and of course, they no longer make those bulbs. Okay. So, uh, and we make fun of him for the lights, and then he goes into a more personal oh, yeah. anecdote about the lights. That's starting with, as you know, my house was built in 1932. <laughs> Why would I know that? <laughs> Why would I know that? Good God. Okay, well, uh, where were we? Oh, we were talking with Christy Lee. But yes. we promised a song from Mr. Godwin. You see, you have a, you have a Billy Joel tribute. Yeah, like a year wrap-up kind of thing. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, this is a, a little guitar tune here. Little guitar, let's see, it's a new guitar from the Give me a strum. shop. <laughs> Billy Joel played guitar, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Billy played guitar <laughs> with Gil and Willie. <laughs> I gotta take a deep breath in this one. Here we go. 
Dr. Fauci, Joe Exotic, bad shyness, so chaotic mass, faces quarantining Patrick Mahomes. Six <laughs> feet lockdown, New Year's countdown. Hello 2021, you better not blow. Instrumental. Corpse. <laughs> the keyboard does it. <laughs> I only have two hands. Ellen DeGeneres, apparently she's venomous. Zoom calls on show your balls, zip up your fly. <laughs> Grandma's got the vaccine, the crown's got a mean queen. Hulu, Netflix, 2020, goodbye. We didn't start the virus. <laughs> it was Wuhan, China, not North Carolina. <laughs> we didn't start the virus. <laughs> No, we didn't start it. He who smelled it farted. We didn't start the virus. It was a bat from China, not a U.S. vagina. We didn't start the virus. We didn't do the start. And thank you, Dolly Parton. Fade out. We didn't start the virus. It was not North Carolina. It was someone's vagina. We didn't was it someone's vagina? I had to hear the lyrics. <laughs> that was in the lyrics. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Goodbye, 20. Oh, well, yeah. That was nice, Pat. Very I like nice. that. Oh. I especially like the instrumental part. Do, 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 do. Uh, Chrissy, what's happening in the newsroom? Uh, well, here's something to do with that Christmas money you got lying around. Goop, of course, selling a Ouija board for $2,000. According to the product description, the $2,000 board game is made from hand-poured, glitter-bombed acrylic Goop suggests that the celestial Ouija board is best played with the lights turned down, a few flickering candles, and set around the room. You have a cocktail or two beforehand. This sounds more like a date than a Ouija board thing. Hmm. No, is it a, is the Ouija board a game? I thought it was just like a some, some kind. Of, you predict the future. Well, it's a tool of the devil. <laughs> um, that's what I've always heard. That's true. If you yeah. look at the box, it does like the, the, the Parker brothers do say, "Hey, this is just for entertainment. This is a game kind of." I mean, there's yeah. no. But Ouija is like a Kleenex. It's it's a brand name. Yeah, yeah. For the I didn't know movie. that. Yeah, What's I... the planchette like in the Goop uh, version? I don't know. I haven't seen it. What? The, That's the, the little, uh, thing thing little triangle thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, when you play that, do you find yourself steering. No. That's the fascinating thing about the Ouija board. Yeah, it moves, on, it moves on its own, Tom. Well, the spirits use it as a uh, communication device, but. Uh, uh huh. Okay. Yes. No, I, no, you said you have your own Ouija board? Yes, I have the Parker Brothers Ouija board, and uh, that's the only one I have. But I did have to, I made one one time in uh, high school. It was a project we had to make. Uh, so of all the things you could have made. Right. I made a, I made a spirit board. <laughs> you yeah. made a, a so-called spirit board. Was this for home ec? Board. No, it was actually for English class, and we just had to, we had to do a, uh, we had to make a project based on something we were reading at the time, and I don't remember what it was. <laughs> and you, and you, <laughs> 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 yes. What's he got? Here we go. Where are you going, Tom? Yes. At the time you were you were reading the the classic novel <laughs> Diary of a London Lady. <laughs> <laughs> so you <laughs> no, I don't like that Victorian. He thinks porn. because he wrote re, he, he read that everyone's read. <laughs> he, he really does. I've never even heard of but it till I met not. Tom. It's a pornographic novel. Just took a uh, mm. piece of cardboard and put aluminum foil over it and uh, did it work? Um, not nearly as well as the actual... Uh, the name brand. Yes, yeah. Because I think if the spirits are going to contact us, they're going to do it through the Parker Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so you never they were had... Gonna do, they were going to use Milton Bradley, but... Right. You never well, had a Ouija board growing up? No. Are you kidding me? Very no. compelling uh, sessions. Oh, it was so board. much fun yeah. as a teen. Oh, God. Does it, does, they, does it give you cards to ask questions? Is that how it works? No, you no. just ask questions to the spirits in the room, and then right. uh, the planchette will move. And you can ask yes Spells or no. Spells out. An answer or it'll for spell you. things out. Right, yeah. My goodness, it's fascinating. Yes. Fascinating. Is it typically a pretty good speller? <laughs> Do they have a contemporary version that has spell check? Uh, sometimes it will it will misspell things or it'll leave out vowels. It depends. It's, it all varies on the spirit. Some spirits uh, are very uh, literate. It, yes, and other <laughs> some are stupid. You get a stupid spirit, you're there all night. We yeah. talked to Satan for hours one night. <laughs> yeah. Now were you moving the planchette with? Uh, your hands? Or? The, it was fascinating. The planchette would go... We always knew that the, that the so-called... The spirit that called itself Satan would come on because it would start doing a figure eight. And oh. it would go real fast. Oh. And we'd be like, ah, 
Satan's back. And then we would uh, so we'd go, hey, can we talk to somebody else? <laughs> and it would go, yes. And then we would find out we were talking to somebody else. And then all of a sudden, it would do the figure eight. And we'd go, ah, oh, it was you. It's terrifying. Oh, I can do it. When you say really we, scary. it's a bunch of people. The most me. compelling thing that ever happened was we asked it to, uh, we, had, we put something up on a dresser. And we asked it to move it. And my gosh, if that thing didn't fall off the dresser. Oh, no way. I promise. Now... That thing was a dollar bill that could have uh, <laughs> a gust of wind. Yeah, so it's, what's the, oh, the the HVAC system? A very mild breeze. Could, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, the air way. conditioning goes on. We certainly didn't move to uh, make it happen. So a typical Ouija board, I'm sure, what is it? Twenty bucks. Oh, I don't know. So I haven't this, purchased this, one. This and... one from Goop is two thousand dollars. Yeah, it's not does the it, only item they does, have. Does it guarantee more A-list spirits? Maybe <laughs> you get the literate spirits. Hey, I'm yes. talking to Belushi over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The the uh, the past year, a little rough, and um, uh, as a, as a collective, we uh, sang a song together. Now, Josh, this was uh, your. Uh, your idea, what was the sort of overriding uh, principle of this? Uh, uh, just sort of a we are the world type take uh, from us to you. Uh, the, uh, giving back to the planet. And uh, uh, <laughs> yes. just a, a hopeful message, uh, a recap of the year, and, and uh, hey, optimism going forward. Okay, so this is saying goodbye to 2020. It's been a tough year, haven't had much fun So many bad things, glad it's almost done Coronavirus, yeah, we're still dealing with that Thanks to some clumsy scientist, or some guy who ate a bite Can't go to work, doing business in my living Stock in Zoom. Toilet paper shortage. Our underwear is marked with skids. We're all popping Prozac because we're teaching our own kids. Good riddance 2020. Boy, what a crappy year. Couldn't go to concerts or ball games. Thank God for weed and beer. Adios 2020. You made us cancel everything. Took Regis and Wilford Brimley. But you left this Larry King? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna live forever, man. <laughs> you killed the best James Bond. And Black Panther, what the heck? And this TV icon died in November. But who is Alex Trebek? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are royalty no more. Oh, and Little Richard and Kenny Rogers. Get royalties no more. Good riddance 2020, you've been a gigantic pain. We missed bowling, strip clubs, and theme parks. And getting free upgrades on a plane. We've been wearing masks in 2020. And, and washing hands like we're all neurotic. And it's your fault we know the names. Carol Baskin and Joe Exotic. Tiger King and Tiger, Tiger King. Tiger King and Tiger, Tiger King. Well, there was unrest in the streets. Everybody talking about that election. Ugly posts and hateful tweets. <laughs> and Jeffrey Dubin's erection. Wildfires flaring. Murder hornets every place. Stores full of Karens. And the joke of the day with Ace. You're welcome. Good riddance 2020, thanks for screwing up our plans. No dating or random hookups, thank God for only fans. But we're all in this together, so just you wait and see. We'll say goodbye 2020 and get back to normal scene. What? Normalcy? <sighs> Normality Tired. is the oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You wanted to be wrong. Yeah, that, uh, I'm wrong. It's okay. I'll be wrong. Let it go. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Let's go. Uh, Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, we're going to find out what happened in the life of uh, comedian Reno Collier during the break. In the meantime, there's Ace, Chick, Josh, I'm Tom, there's Willie. Hey, Reno, how are you? It's good to see you. 
Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Once again, uh, Reno does his show from the uh, waiting room at a funeral home. <laughs> some curtains. And there's Jess Hooker right over there, and Christy Lee is uh, is right over there. Howdy. So um, that's well good to see you. Now, Reno, it's uh, time for a rare treat. Um, not just uh, your uh, contributions to the program, but uh, it's my understanding that... Oh, there's the phone. I bet this is a uh, Mr. Hello, Hitzwater. Bob and Tom show. Well, this is Dick Hitzwater sitting in for Gloria Holstein. <laughs> and this is some other news. <laughs> Gloria Holstein. Happy New yeah. Year, everyone. Thank you. Well, 2021 is finally here, and according to the Chinese calendar, it is the year of the ox. Uh 2020 was, of course, the year of the rat, so as bad as 2020 was, it could have been worse. The rat bastard could have infected us with bubonic plague. In legal news, a man in New York State has filed a class action lawsuit against the makers of King's Hawaiian Sweet Rolls, alleging the company misled him into believing that California manufactured sweet rolls are made in Hawaii. Uh, well, Robert Galinsky of Yonkers said in his suit that the King's Hawaiian packaging prominently features Hilo Hawaii on the front, but the back reveals they are actually made in Torrance, California. Uh. Well, if he thinks that's misleading, wait until he finds out that famous cake maker Little Debbie turns 61 this year. Oh. (laughs) If there were any truth in advertising, then Little Debbie would currently have to go by Big Old Diabetic Debbie. (laughs) (laughs) And and by the way, pal, and by the way, pal, that Dawn dishwashing liquid is typically made in the evening. Oh. And the local hooker who provides those Cleveland steamers yeah. is actually from Columbus, Ohio. Oh, oh boy. Well, wow, yeah. that changes everything. <laughs> yes, it does. It's a fast food eatery at Pompeii has been evacuated or excavated. <laughs> of course, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was evacuated all right. This is Pom- Pompeii. I think they evacuated it, they evacuated it quite a while back. All right. Oh, that's, been a, that's old news, yeah. <laughs> It's been excavated, helping to reveal dishes that were popular for the citizens of the ancient Roman city. Included in the discovery was a countertop holding deep vessels of hot foods and a mural indicating the eatery menu included mallard duck. Wow. Now, imagine how overwhelmed the waiters felt when Mount Vesuvius erupted and 100 customers suddenly all yelled, Duck! (laughs) You got to order that a day in advance. (laughs) (laughs) Old news. A new study says that more than half the women uh, surveyed said they fantasize about an ex while making love to their current partner. 75% of men uh, surveyed said they fantasize about their wife's hot sister. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, baby. The 32nd birthday of the uh, World Wide Web, speaking of sex, is coming soon. Uh-huh. It's hard to imagine that the Internet has been around for that long. I remember back in the days of dial-up modems, that awkward screeching as it dialed into the web, and the hours it would take to download just a single pornographic uh, pornographic photo. I'm getting all sweaty thinking yeah. about it. No, sure. The woman would slowly be revealed to you, first her hair, mm-hmm. then her beautiful face. Two hours later, you'd finally get to see her perfect upper torso. Oh, nice. (laughs) Two hours after that, it'd finally be revealed to you that she was a he. (laughs) Then you'd feel a burning shame for the next two hours for finishing anyway. (laughs) Ah, the internet. (laughs) Well, this is is Dick Hitchcock sitting in for Gloria (laughs) Holstein, and this has been some other news. Finishing anyway. <laughs> okay, yes. thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hitzwater. Uh, as I mentioned, we've been joined by comedian Reno Collar. Re- re- Collier. Re- you, Reno, you look kind of tan. I do? Yeah, you've been outside? I didn't do, no, well, yeah, just working, but it's been cold, man. Oh, we well, look good. I don't know. Nice. Did you Is have a good holiday? Up? I had a decent holiday. It was good. Kids, and it just... It, it, it's when working construction, working for, you know, getting paid by the hour, it changes how you buy gifts. You know, like it used to be like, oh, it's Christmas. I'm going to buy my kids a PlayStation. That's a half a show. But when you're getting paid an hour, I'm looking at my kids like, are you eight hours worth of pouring concrete? Good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how much do I really love this kid? Like, do I <laughs> crawl under a house on my knees on rocks? Love this kid. It's like, no. Nah, <laughs> 
you know, hand lotion for everybody. Yeah, oh, that, boy. You know, that, that actually, I can remember, we were talking to uh, Tim Allen, the comedian, about that. Mm hmm. And uh, I forget the, it was something like he had been offered, this is, he, of course, became very famous very quickly, but he'd been on our show many times before he was, you know, super, famous. super, super yeah. famous. And the guy's, I mean, amazing. He's so great. Um, but uh, he said he, he would start to think of things like, well, let's see. I guess he, I th remember the story he was offered, I think it was a gig in Hawaii for uh, New Year's Eve. And he, he'd really been incredibly successful at the time. And his wife said, no. And he thought to himself, I don't know, this this gig's a new car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. I think whatever level you are, you sort of think with respect to, let's see now, if I do that, I can get this. So, yeah. yeah is it really worth it? You know? Yeah. Damn. It's, it's just been, I, I this whole year, you know, people keep saying like, well, 2020, anytime, so, well, it's 2020. 2020, wasn't as bad. Like I went back and looked at my new year's resolutions from a year ago mm -hmm. and it actually like, all right. So one, I had uh spend more time with family. Okay. Got that. Check. Right. Check. Mm -hmm. I accomplished that. Uh, two, do shows for smaller crowds and make less money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did that. I did that. I don't know how I saw this one coming. Nail gun finger into crown molding. Oh, <laughs> You're a visionary. That's wild. I had no idea. Uh, figure out a way to see constant fog in my glasses and smell my own breath at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you <laughs> able to do that. I should call you a Reno. So as people, it is. People see negative. Fall in love with shows about uh, gay cowboys who love tigers. I, it just goes on. <laughs> I nailed every yeah. single thing. Wow. Yeah. Good for you. So, Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.